Hey there, this is Teacher Ola Podcast, episode 10, Learn English with Music. See ya, chandelier. I'm Ola and I teach English. I'm focused on teaching speaking. This podcast is for you if you're an English learner who wants to speak English with more confidence and get rid of speaking barriers. Boost your vocabulary, brush up your grammar, improve your pronunciation. Go to my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. Happy learning! Hello again! Today I'm going to encourage you one more time to learn English with music. Sing because speaking or singing English out loud is the best way to boost your fluency. If you'd like to find out more about learning English with music, how to do it and what are the steps, check out one of my episodes. It's available at teacherola.com forward slash podcast. Uh, it's episode with Ed Sheeran's I Don't Care. After listening to this very episode, put it into practice and download a worksheet from my website. The activity I prepared involves filling in the missing words in the song Chandelier. Chandelier is an incredible song, powerful, deep and surprisingly enough, it became a worldwide hit. I say surprisingly because Sia wasn't and I think still isn't perceived as a celebrity pop star, if you know what I mean. It is quite something, especially for an artist who comes from a niche musical background. I love her art, especially those old solo albums, and I was thrilled she came back to her solo career with Chandelier in 2014. I know you know and like this song too, because it hit the top of the charts in Poland and generally all over the world. Billions of YouTube viewers, hundred thousands of covers, it speaks for itself. And again, an objectively great, deep song broke through to mass audience. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the title of the song, the meaning of the song, and then I'm going to move on to the lyrics. It's the third episode of Teacher Ola podcast where I'm encouraging you to learn English with music. Previously, you could hear me talking about Ed Sheeran and Lady Gaga. Today, it's Sia. I don't know if it's okay to call it a tradition or it's a bit too soon, but I'm sure it's important to get the meaning of the song, if there is any. Sometimes there's no meaning to some songs, but it makes you understand the song, the message, better and as a result you remember the lyrics better. This is how our brain works. It's challenging to remember things we do not understand. After Sia released her 2010 studio album We Are Born, she retired from her solo career. She was fine with writing hit songs for other artists without feeling any necessity to go back on stage herself. Stay with me till the end of this episode because I'm going to give you a very interesting list of artists she wrote songs with or for and I think you might be surprised because some of the biggest hits ever were written by Sia. One more song fact and this is what Sia said in one of the interviews. She said that... Usually, when she comes up with a song, she usually thinks, oh, this would work for Rihanna, oh, this could be a good one for Beyoncé, oh, this is a great song for Katy Perry. When she came up with Chandelier, it was a different story. She felt that this song belongs to her. It happened accidentally, she didn't plan to come back on stage anytime soon, and... To be honest, I don't believe in accidents because I'm sure it was meant to be this way. I was so happy to see Sia is back. Let's start with the title, Chandelier. It is a large round frame with branches that holds light or candles. Chandeliers are decorated with many small pieces of glass and they are hung from the ceiling. Most frequent collocations are a crystal chandelier or a sparkling chandelier. Now I'll tell you a thing or two about the meaning of the song, then I'll move on to the lyrics and we'll go through them line by line. 
The song is about a party girl's life. It's about addiction, especially to alcohol, but also drugs. Lyrics tell us about Sia, Sia's personal struggles with alcoholism and also prescription drugs where, when she was still pushing her solo career. In one interview, she said she had been seriously unhappy as an artist and that she had always been a drinker, but she hadn't known how serious it was. There are so many pop tunes that celebrate the non-stop party, YOLO anthems, and Sia's take on that topic is interesting because it differs from the rest. It is rooted in the Sia's past struggles with alcoholism. Very honest. Alcohol, drugs and other addictions help her stay high, away from stress and problems. Alcohol makes her mm, feel loved and surrounded by friends. But at the same time, she knows it's just an illusion and it's meaningless. When she wakes up in the morning, everything and everyone is gone. And what remains are problems, silence, truth, and it's very hard to bear. Here comes the shame. She feels ashamed of what she did yesterday. Watch the video if you haven't yet. This video is a piece of art and it corresponds with the song at many levels. But coming back to the meaning of the song, I was saying that she wakes up and everything is even worse than before the party. They passes, she behaves as it's expected from, from her by the society. Fake smiles, postures, gestures, watch the video, it's all there. Sia says that this video is the best thing she's ever done. Finally, the evening comes and here she goes again. Alcohol, friends, fun, swinging from the chandelier, YOLO. She numbs her sadness and her pain with her favorite medicine. That's why party guests don't get hurt. They don't feel anything. She avoids painful truth, hard choices, and in the end, she acts like a child. Problems don't disappear, they are concealed, it's camouflage. I think this is why we see an 11-year-old girl in the video. She knows it's all wrong, fake, and she wants to stay alive. She's holding on to dear life, or rather for dear life. She's holding on for dear life. She's too scared to deal with the reality. She says, I won't look down, I won't open my eyes. She realizes it's too scary and too she is too scared to go back to normal life. In this context, I think swinging from the chandelier might be a reference to committing suicide. The song is relatable for all people, since we all hide something, fear the truth about our lives. This song tells us a story that serves as attention sign for all of us who find themselves having lots of fun at parties, starving for attention, but in a wrong way, from wrong people. Okay, that was the meaning of the song. It's based on Sia's comments and my own analysis of the lyrics. Talking about lyrics, let's dive into them now. I'll read them out slowly for you. After uh, some of them, I'll include a pause for you to, to repeat. Practice your fluency so that later you'll be able to sing the song along. Shall we? Let's do this. Party girls don't get hurt. Can't feel anything. When will I learn? So, drugs make you numb. You don't feel the pain. Thus, you can't get hurt. When will I learn? I know it's just an illusion, but I'm stuck in this lie. I push it down. Push it down. To push something down means to make it go down. Place it lower. So, she pushes her thoughts down, away from the ceiling, where she's swinging on chandelier, where she's sort of happy. I'm the one for a good time call. Phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, feel the love. If you're the one for a good time call, it means that you are someone that your friends call if they want to have a good time. You're either a fun person or maybe a person who likes to party. So that's how she feels the love. She's in the center, she draws attention. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Lots of drinks. Throw them back till I lose count. To lose count, 
to not be able to remember a total amount here of drinks. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist. Like it doesn't exist. YOLO! You only live once. Carpe diem. Seize the day. There's no tomorrow. I live here and now and only that matters. Having a good time now without worrying about the consequences. I'm gonna fly like a bird through the night. Feel my tears as they dry. I cry. I'm not really happy. But those tears dry when I'm swinging on a chandelier, dancing, running, parting, pushing my feelings down. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. But I'm holding on for dear life. To hold on here means to manage, to stay alive or to deal with a difficult situation. She wants to live. Life is dear to her. But also, for dear life is an idiom and it stands for doing something with as much effort as possible, usually to avoid danger. I was once on a roller coaster and I was holding on for dear life. I was so scared I thought I might lose my life. I won't look down, won't open my eyes. I won't is a contracted form of I will not. I will not look down, I will not open my eyes. Focus on pronunciation here. It's not want, like in I want ice cream, I want you, but there is a O sound. I won't look down, I won't stop, I won't go there, I won't open my eyes. And the lyrics go. Keep my glass full until morning light. Keep my glass full. Pour me some more. I'm going to drink all night. Because I'm just holding on for tonight. It feels worse and worse now. But I have to survive this night. I'm holding on for tonight. I'm not worried about the future. I don't think there's any. I just want to stay alive through this night. Help me. I'm holding on for dear life. Help me appears here, so she is looking for somebody who could help her because she knows it's impossible to get out of this addiction on her own. Won't look down, won't open my eyes, keep my glass full until morning light because I'm just holding on for tonight. Oh, that's just a repetition. <laughs> okay, but then the lyrics go. Sun is up, I'm a mess. Oh, another day, ugly truth strikes again. She's a mess. She's made of problems, difficulties and mistakes. Gotta get out, gotta run from this. Here comes the shame, here comes the shame. She needs help. She wants to end it up. She feels ashamed. Shame is the feeling you have when you feel guilty and embarrassed because... You or someone who is close to you have done something wrong. Now, this is not the end of your lesson. It's time for your move. Go to teacherola.com forward slash 10 and download the worksheet 10. There's just one exercise. It's chandelier lyrics with gaps. Play the song, listen to the lyrics and try to complete the gaps. Later, sing along with Sia without glimpsing at the text. I promised you a list of artists Sia wrote or co-wrote songs for. So, number one, um, I don't think the order really matters, but I just have numbers, so let me read them. Beyonce, Pretty Hurts, Standing on the Sun and many more. Britney Spears, Perfume and many more. Kylie Minogue, among many titles, Kiss Me Once. Katy Perry, for example, Double Rainbow. Maroon 5, My Heart is Open. Christina Aguilera, a few titles, among them Blank Page. Shakira, Chasing Shadows, Try Everything and others. Rihanna, for example, Diamonds. We all know this song, right? But also, of course I have a list, I look at the, uh, at the list and I'm reading from it. Jennifer Lopez, Celine Dion, Kelly Rowland, Will Young, Rita Ora. Now, what do you think of this song? What have you learned in this episode? 
please let me know what do you think. I need feedback, so please, please contact me.、Uh, I know you're here, but I don't know you. I know you listen because I see the numbers、um, on the website, and I know people listen to it. You listen to it, so let me know who you are. I'm so curious. Teacherola dot com forward slash eleven. Teacherola dot com forward slash eleven. There you'll find full transcripts and the worksheets. If you think someone you know could learn something from this episode, or just likes Sia's music, tell him or her about it. Next episode is a grammar point. What's the difference between so and such? How to use them correctly? Be here on Wednesday. I'll be here for sure. Have a great day, great week. Happy learning. Bye bye.